This is how to bleed out the brake system for a BMW S1000RR, including use of the GS911 tool to cycle the ABS pumps. The first thing I'm going to do is adjust the lever all the way out. See it coming out? So that this is as far outward as I can. And then I'm going to use a couple zip ties to tie that lever all the way back to the handle. We'll just let it sit like that, ideally overnight. Having that pressure in the system will force any air to rise to the top where your bleed points are on the two calipers and the master cylinder. I also used a shop rag both on the grip side and on the handle side so I don't scratch the lever finish or you know maybe minimize the groove I'm gonna put in the rubber grip from that. So now I'm just gonna let that sit. Now that this sat overnight with the pressure on it, I'll go ahead and cut the zip tie. It doesn't look like it left any marks really on it. That's good. We have three bleeding points. The one up by the master cylinder, the one on the right caliper, and the one on the left caliper. Since the one on the left caliper is the furthest from the master cylinder, we're going to start with this one. It's less messy to use some tubing and a catch canister for your fluid. So that's what I've got set up here. First remove the rubber cap. I'll take a wrench over the bleeder valve and then I'm going to take the piece of hose and I'm going to put it on top of the bleeder valve. Make sure my canister is setting there correctly. Now it's ready when I put pressure on it. This caliper is set up but before I start anything I need to address the master cylinder reservoir up on top. Before I actually start bleeding I want to take the reservoir cap off so that I can make sure that I keep the reservoir full of fluid and don't accidentally pump air into the line. This one's screw fastened and that fluid is corrosive so be very careful with it. I don't have to worry about it hurting this paint job though. First thing I'm going to do is just real gentle just bring a couple just to see if there's any little bubbles that come up in here. I don't see any which is good. That lever feels firm already just from having it trapped over the day. Okay so all that seems good. Now this is a little tricky because I need one hand on the lever over here and another hand down there to bleed it. So the grill arms are going to be helpful at this time. The basic process I'm doing is pulling it back four times and then holding it while I use my other hand to open the bleeder valve. Don't let pressure up on this lever. Always be squeezing as hard as you can and as you open the bleeder valve, it'll come further in towards the handle. While I have a solid grip on the lever, I'm going to rotate this gently and keep holding strong on the lever until I see some fluid. I saw an air bubble there and then I'm going to continue pulling tightly on the lever and tighten this back up. Now I'm going to squeeze one, two, three, four times again. I'm going to hold it tight. I'm going to rotate it. I'm going to see that fluid come up into the tubing and feel the lever squeeze deeper. And I'm not seeing any more air bubbles. Just squeeze it, tighten the valve again, go through the process again. One, two, three, four. And like crack the valve open. Bubbles, see any. Really good and firm, that's good. Normally it would take a lot more to do this, but the system was pretty solid already. And that tying it overnight really seemed to help too. So now, without making a mess, I'm going to pull this tubing off and have too much of a mess. Okay, now I'm going to make sure that the bleeder is tight. Wipe off that area, put the bleeder cap back on. And I'm going to put the sensor cable back where it belongs. So that side's done. Let's take a look and make sure the reservoir still has fluid in it. I'll put a little bit more in it. Now we're going to repeat it for the right side. And put the rubber cap back on. Now that side's done too. Now the only one we have left is on the master cylinder itself. This one requires a little bit bigger wrench, but tubing still fits. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to squeeze this four times, hold it, and crack the valve. See that air bubble? There's a few of them coming up there. Several air bubbles and close. 
One, two, three, four. And we'll just clean that up a little bit. Put a rubber cap back on there. Because this bike has analog braking system, once you bled the brakes, the next step is to cycle the ABS pumps that are under the seat. On this particular bike, in order to do that, you need a GS911 tool. This was my old GS911 that I used when it was a 2010, but now that everything's been converted to a 2018, I needed the different tool, so I had to upgrade to this model. I still got the USB connection versus the Wi-Fi version. On the older models, you had this kind of a connector that would plug into the bike cable. On this newer style bike, this is the connector. And you're basically plugging the device in that way. Once the device is plugged into the bike cable and you've got the cable routing to your laptop, you have to turn the switch on the bike to get the ECU to talk to the device. And at some point you want to select that you've got an S series in a 2018 for my particular model. And we want to look at the analog brake system and the service functions. And I want to cycle the ABS pumps. Okay, you're on bleed brakes in the menu. You're gonna run function, and it's gonna tell you when you flush one, it's gonna want you to hit the brake lever three times holding two seconds apiece. So get ready, hit it. One, two, three. Okay. And now it wants us to bleed it, and then we're going to continue with the second flush. Okay, I bled everything out again. Now I'm going to continue with that two. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it says switch the ignition off. Switch it back on. And it says service function completed successfully. I'm going to go ahead and bleed the brakes one last time, and then everything will be good. Now you're going to do the same thing with your rear brake, though not used near as often. And there's the bleeder valve for this guy. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to learn more about how to enjoy amazing machines like this.